Welcome back. Our Call 6 investigation into teacher turnover is prompting a ton of reaction tonight. Critics say the state needs to do more to keep teachers in their classrooms. Our Kara Kenny is working for you, talking with teachers and the superintendent of public instruction and her opponent asking what they think needs to be done. That's right, Erica. We've heard from hundreds of current and former teachers about why so many Indiana educators are leaving the classroom. I have boiled down those comments into the top five reasons you say teachers are moving on. Number one, pay and rising cost of health care. Number two, standardized tests and teacher evaluations. Number three, overcrowded classrooms and student behavior. Number four, politics and lack of support. And last Lastly, lack of leadership opportunities. The question is, how do you fix these problems? Well, that depends on who you ask. With the model that I'm working with now. Jason Sipe was a teacher for eight years, but he's now starting up his own tutoring business. I get up bright and early uh, in the morning and I teach Chinese children. Jason is one of thousands of Indiana teachers who've left the classroom. Teaching to the test is at the top of that list, but it's also pay. Uh, it's also the treatment of the profession. Um, you know, you start off with a bachelor's degree, then you're expected to get a master's. Call 6 Investigates found Indiana does not track the reasons why every teacher leaves. It's a concern for Sipe and for former teacher Jennifer McCormick. We need to do a better job of having a handle on the true reason for that before we can address the issue. McCormick is running for state superintendent of public instruction. Indiana needs to do a much better job of tracking data to say why are teachers leaving, what tends to be the problem. That is an easy fix at the local level that would not require a lot of time, but it would also let us as a state know what are those reasons. Is it because of pay? Is it because of the lack of autonomy? Is it because of the teaching mess? Current superintendent of public instruction, Glenda Ritz, says gathering the data would require a change in state law. You can't just snap your fingers and do it. Nope. If you're reelected, what are you going to do differently? Well, it's it's a top priority. We have to have great teachers in the state of Indiana. We are working with districts already on retention. Jason Site believes the solution to teacher turnover is giving educators more flexibility in how they teach, such as through technology and, of course, boosting pay. I didn't get in it for the money, but I did get in it with an expectation of a reasonable amount of pay. And Glenda Ritz plans to bring up two issues to the General Assembly, compensation and teacher evaluations tied to testing. Now, we have not yet heard any plans to require schools to collect that information, but of course, we sent that link to our story to state lawmakers to try to get some reaction. We are still waiting to hear back. All right, the winter continues. Yeah, you, it was great to hear from so many teachers yeah. today. Good to see you. Thank Thanks. You.